Then I'm back more Forgotten City. It's too long. Uh, I think we've talked to him already, right? Wait, what? As always, priestess. Any news oh, they kicked me out. Navia or Kabash. No sign of any of them, I'm afraid. But we do have a newcomer. Strangely dressed fellow. A traveler from a faraway land, then. Seems that way. Then let's make sure he feels welcome, shall we? Of course, priestess. What is it, citizen? We have to I already did all these, right? I Oh, these are registered. Oh, okay. I don't see what. Okay, so this is everyone, right? Yeah, I just want to see. So, Aurelia, we talked to. Who's Claudia? Yeah, we've not talked to her. Decius, we've talked to. Dominus, we've talked to. Do, have we talked to him? We talked to him. Oh, there's more characters than I thought there were. Uh, <clears throat> episode 3 just uploaded. Alright, guys. Hmm. Alright, um, either. Julia, I don't think we talked to. Wow, there's a lot more characters than I thought there were. Oh, damn. Uh... Of course. Well, as I always say, I yeah, I've already done. I've already done all these conversations. So. What business? Encounter a stranger in the forest before you arrived here. And did you happen to catch her name? I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. Hmm. Uh, what? How could you know that? And why are you talking to me instead of doing something about it? Please, go and stop him, and come no. back to me once we're no longer in danger. Yeah. Hmm. So... So how do I take that guy out then? Welcome to my humble store. in that great temple up there on the bluff. I bet it's worth a fortune. Uh, 
Oh, same thing. can I do? Uh, which one's the It's this guy, right? It's the Minty. Fresh meat, huh? Maliolus isn't yeah. receiving visitors at... Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. <coughs> and they keep coming back. If you know what I mean. You don't know Sturkus. <coughs> Listen, I don't abduct women. Whatever. Okay, um. Love it. With. Wait, I must. Is that a. Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name, though Magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a Decurian in the Cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the Barbarians. It's a Cavalry Officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. As magistrate, I usually wear a toga, but today I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you, so it seemed prudent. My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, Waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic and, I remember it, losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Very well. Um. If I did, I'd have led these people out. I've had plenty of. I've always. Our survival and prosperity have given yeah, right. the real. I. Thank. Hmm. That's the daughter again? Or is it not? Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians. Oh, it's the same one, right? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter. Oh, but we didn't do that in the. Okay, yeah, yeah, I feel that. We went into our room. I think so. Because that doesn't surprise me. He's upset. I all I know. You. I. If you must know, 
I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. I couldn't bear to I wonder to how long a speedrun this game is. I'm sure it's like a few minutes, right? As if he right? loves me. And not like because he needs like, at least one daughter do. he can trade off. So you'll help me find her. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. Thank you. On your best behavior, I trust. Is it gonna turn out the daughter is Karen? What? <sighs> really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. I wonder how I could have missed it. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet. Yulia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Okay. Aren't there more options? Oh. You know, some people say it's the creation of an all seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Suppose we will. <coughs> of course. What have you discovered? Yes, please do. Okay. Wait, what mission do I have tracked right now? Is that? Okay, she's over there. Wait, what? This is you? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. But, but thanks for trying to help me. 
I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. The golden rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. Oh, is she the girl that we saved but with Mariola the and Claudia are far crueler. Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, persistent as nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe and... I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. It's a deadly poison made from a plant. Drink this she said and you'll be out of here in no time of course i demanded my money back but she refused she pointed to a sign on her tavern saying let the buyer beware then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she she laughed she immediately told maliolus i'd tried to escape without paying him back only he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Um. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years, and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting, too. But Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa. Confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. But they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met, and tried to swindle the other. 
I don't know we how I could have been it. so stupid. When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me, for trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so... I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Hmm, I forgot how to stop. Um. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are, or why you seem so determined to help me, but... Thank you. There. I don't remember. Feeling all right? I wish some just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia, but snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Um. Sure, what do you want to know? How did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule, and so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Gladly. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her, but that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician, but she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too, until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, 
She was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Really? The oh, that's not locked. Hmm. So, what is there to do? did that though, right? Uh, Wait, did I ever do this? No, but I... You mean my life story? Oh, well... Our father found good husbands for my sister. Did I not do this? But I just want to do this. Cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then the next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. Thank you, but to be honest... If that's your idea of a joke, it's not funny. Go away. That was off. This up though. Right, 20 minutes. How do we get up there? Mm. 
Yeah, we haven't been here already, have we? Alright, I think we'll end here. Uh, next episode, we'll continue on. Um, ah, fuck off, right. Damn it. I did it again. Yeah, friend, thank you for watching.